good morning students uh, i am sure uh, you are all fine with uh, this uh, youtube uh, classes learning at home uh, sometimes uh, self learning at home so we are uh, today very lucky to have uh, this poem you know antony speech of the class 9 of the 7th unit uh, as our lesson so we are going to learn so many things from this poem today and uh, as part of our discussion dear students i am i am sure you are with, uh, ready with your textbooks notebooks and with pens and uh, <clears throat> and today's you know lesson objectives are Uh, uh, the first one is the learners will be enabled to recite the poem uh, correctly and uh, and independently with uh, right pronunciation and the third one is the learners will come to know the theme of the poem the third one is the learners will be supported in understanding the meaning of the difficult words so these are the three objectives that we are, that we have at the end of the lesson we will come to know uh, we will Uh, you know, we will we will be acquainted with these uh, three objectives. So, dear students, please open your textbooks, page number one forty. Uh, I am going to present you a model reading of the poem, so that you can you know observe you know right pronunciation. At the same time, you can also underline you know the difficult words which you you may not uh, you know sometimes. Uh, you know feel little difficulty in understanding the meanings of the uh, you know uh, difficult words so dear students you uh, you are ready with the textbooks now please open 140 uh, i am going to you know present you a model reading friends romans countrymen lend me your ears i come to bury caesar not to praise him the evil that men do lives after them the good is often interred with their bones so let it be with caesar the noble brutus brutus hath told you caesar was ambitious if it were so it was grievous fault and grievously hath caesar answered it under leave of brutus and rest for brutus is an honorable man so are they all all honorable men come i to speak in caesar's funeral he was my friend faithful and just to me but brutus says he was ambitious and brutus is an honorable man he had brought many captives home to rome whose ransom did the general coffers fill did this in caesar seem ambitious when that poor have cried caesar hath wept ambition should be made of sterner stuff Yet Brutus says he was ambitious, and Brutus is an honourable man. You all did see that on the looper call, I thrice presented him a kingly crown. Which he did thrice refuse was this ambition. Yet Brutus says he was ambitious, and sure he is an honourable man. I speak not to disapprove what Brutus spoke, but here I am to speak what I do know. You all did love him once, not without cause. What cause withholds you then to mourn for him? O judgment, thou art uh, fled to brutish beasts, and men have lost their reason. Bear with me; my heart is in the coffin. There with Caesar, and I must pause till it comes back to me. So this is the model reading of the poem, dear students. I am sure. So you have underlined while I was reading the poem. You have underlined the poem. Let us now look at. you know the poem you know let us try to understand what the uh, you know william shakespeare one of the greatest poets of the times so you might have heard about william shakespeare now you will come to know the greatness of this uh, you know great poet you know by understanding the poem now dear students let us look at the first stanza what the you know <clears throat> now before actually get into our discussion we must know a little you know background of this poem so actually this poem is an extract you know taken from the play called julius caesar written by william shakespeare you know play what is a play play is a like you know drama 
where you know lot of characters are there you know so you, all the actors come on to the stage they act and they, they deliver during the 16th century you know dramas and plays were very f- famous very p- popular so william shakespeare wrote this drama you know during the you know 16th century so from this play you know small part you know a speech a speech you know by mark antony one of the important characters in the play you know delivered you know taking as a taken uh, taken uh, for our lesson today so this you know his speech is prescribed in our syllabus and uh, and his speech is 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 our today's poem so uh, in the play what happens you know there is a king his name was julius caesar he was one of the greatest greatest emperors of the roman empire so uh, he, he he was very popular and he was very great and he had won the hearts of you know roman roman people so unfortunately with the conspiracy of you know his general brutus he was killed so and in the same court he has a friend noble uh, he has a friend by name mark antony and uh, he knows the conspiracy conspiracy that was led by brutus and uh, when the king was uh, you know killed in conspiracy taking the dead body uh, to the people to the people of rome he delivers a, a magnificent speech so in this context this uh, you know this poem uh, is uh, this speech is written and uh, now let us look at the first stanza friends romans countrymen lend me your ears i come to bury caesar not to praise him the evil that men do leaves after them the good is often entered with their bones so dear friends now with the bones so let it be with caesar the noble brutus hath told you caesar was ambitious if it were so it was grievous fault and grievously had to caesar answer it so here there are some difficult words what are those i am writing on the blackboard you may you may look at them lend lend me your ears so these are the some of the uh, bari next one bari then next then third one interred write down the these uh, difficult words in your notebooks children uh, these are some of the noble then you have ambitious ambitious then you have grievous so these are the some of the difficult words uh, that you may have that you we have come across this you know first stanza so dear students now lend me your ears means listen to me listen to me then you have bari bari means to put somebody something in the ground then interred so interred here means buried then noble great write down those uh, these difficult words in your notebooks children then ambitious what is this ambitious very important word in this poem is strong desire 
to succeed somebody then grievous serious so these are the some of the difficult words that we have come across in the first stanza so dear students how does you know bar cantoni i told you this poem is taken from the play called julius caesar written by william shakespeare he was a dramatist okay remember that and this is the context context is also very important this is one of the most you know you know you know you know typical poems of this you know of this class of this uh, you know text very important this is going to be very one of the you know crucial poems of this uh, text of this entire you know uh, you know nine nine class uh, text english reader so in this poem really so so you know mark antony he addresses the you know romans how does he address the romans he calls friends at the same time he calls romans countrymen and lend me your ears listen to me for some time i am going to tell you what happened what is the reason behind the death of the behind the conspiracy of you know brutus so i come to bury caesar not to praise him look at the way you know mark antony uses you know phrases i come to bury caesar not to praise him so today i have come here i am standing before you i am standing in front of you not to praise him but to put him in the ground the evil that men do lives after them you know dear students you know what what the what what mark antony is saying the evil that men do lives after them whatever whatever you do mistake sometimes it is remembered forever suppose you make a mistake it will be remembered forever in the school by the teachers by your students by your friends the good is often entered with their bones and if you do some good thing if you do some noble work it is very quickly forgotten so in the same way you know the great king the great king julius caesar has done a number of noble things they are all forgotten they are all forgotten by the romans by our, by our, by us so let it be with the caesar the same thing also replies to julius caesar the noble brutus hath told you caesar was ambitious so brutus you all know brutus our general our he was very he says he what does he say he says that he says that julius caesar was ambitious you know what is ambitious you know very very eager to you know you know you you, you know somebody has a strong desire you know to possess something so brutus always claims that julius caesar was ambitious if it was so it was grievous fault so mark antony is saying if you all believe the words of brutus it is going to be a biggest mistake he is he was never ambitious remember this this is very important he was never ambitious but brutus being with him he said that you know julius caesar was a ambitious if it were so he was a it was a grave grievous mistake grievous means very serious mistake fault means mistake and grievously at caesar answered it. so in the in the same manner by doing lot of noble activities julius caesar also replied during his reign he went on doing number of good things number of noble things he built a strong heart in the hearts of the romans you remember those don't forget don't believe the words of indirectly is, is warning remember very important thing on the one hand you know he is you know trying to realize the important works that were done by you know julius caesar at the same time you know he is you know mark antony very cleverly very intelligently you know trying to remember the conspiracy the evil 
the cruel nature the unkind nature of you know brutus activities in the roman empire so remember this these are very important things my dear students you please keep and observe try to have an insight into the poem it is not what the poem exactly telling outwardly there is an inner meaning in the poem you remember those so now let us under leave of brutus and rest for brutus for brutus is is brutus is is an honorable man so are they all all honorable men come i to speak in caesar's funeral so dear students now on the other hand you know but today what is the position of brutus he is an honorable man honorable means very respectable you maintain certain dignity you have some values and on the other hand you know he is trying to put the crime on brutus and at the same time is in the you know outwardly the outer meaning of the poem says he is very respectable on the other hand he is also re revealing the in a conspiracy that was led by brutus so these are the, this is the meaning of the you know first stanza now let us look at the second stanza dear students here under leave of brutus and the rest for brutus is an honorable man so are they all all honorable men come i to speak in caesar's funeral he was my friend faithful and just to me but brutus says he was ambitious and brutus is an honorable man so dear friends now look at the second stanza you know difficult words honorable respectable you know funeral means a ceremony you know held shortly after person's death then then these are the some of the difficult words so with the permission under the under leave of brutus means with the permission of brutus today i am standing in front of you you know with the permission of brutus so he is an honorable man so i come to uh, speak so here i have come here to speak you know for the funeral of julius caesar he was friend he was my friend he was very close to me you know remember students i told you that julius caesar and mark antony are very close friends you know they share everything the noble activities that were done by julius caesar were only observed by his closest friend mark antony so he you know very seriously you know he brings out the you know he remembers he tries to remember you know make us you know realize the important works that were done by julius caesar so here i have come my company says i am here i am standing here to remember to speak in the funeral of you know funeral of you know julius caesar remember this he was very ambitious so brutus is an honorable and remember on the other hand brutus is an honorable man he says so this is the meaning of the second stanza now let us go to the third stanza he had brought many captives home to rome whose ransoms did the general coffers feel do this you know in caesar's ambitious when that poor have cried caesar hath wept ambition should be made of sterner stuff that brutus says he was ambitious and brutus so here there are some important words so dear friends i am writing here you know captives captives very important words captives then you have the other word ransoms very important word make so these two words are very important in the third stanza so dear friends now look at what the captives means you know what 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 is the meaning of the captives you know people you know you know who have been taken as prisoners when, when you are defeated the defeated in the war in the battle you know sometimes you know the soldiers are taken as a prisoners in the same way some of the soldiers of the rome were taken as a prisoners prisoners remember this and uh, and then you have ransom what is the meaning so some of the money demanded you know you know demanded for the release of the prisoners so when a soldier is arrested by the you know uh, you know opponent opponent army so you you know uh, uh, you know the sometimes the country you know pays some money or gives some gold and takes back the soldiers so this is what the ransom means captives so in the same way 
you know, Mark Antony, he remembers Julius Caesar when the soldiers of the Roman Empire were arrested by the, you know, by the other other opponents, you know, he paid, he paid money and released the prisoners and brought brought back to the Rome. So that is why many captives have been brought to Rome. So this is what the means. And General Coffer feel. So do you think this is ambitious? He questions a rhetorical question. There is an answer. Do you think this is a uh, this is a you know a grievous fault? So he uh, Julius Caesar brought the captives back to Rome. So this is one of the noblest act. As a king, you know he has a heart with the he has a heart with the soldiers. So he did not leave his uh, you know prisoners. Just simply he brought back the prisoners to the Rome. So that is one of the noblest act. And uh, when the poor people of the Rome were crying, the heart of the Julius Caesar is with the poor. He cried with the poor. When the poor people had no food to eat, Julius Caesar had wept. Ambitious should be made of sterner stuff. Yet Brutus says he was ambitious and Brutus is an honorable man. Sterner. So do you think when the king, do you think king can, king can you know, weep uh, for the poor people? And, and our honorable man, Brutus says, Brutus says that, that he is, uh, is that the Julius is, uh, is ambitious, ambitious, ambitious. So now, so these are the noble acts that were by that were done by Julius Caesar. Now let us come to the fourth stanza. Now, dear students, now I speak not to disapprove what Brutus spoke, but here I am to speak what what I do know. You all did love him once, not without cause. What cause withholds you then to mourn for him? O judgment, thou art. They will fly to brutish bees, and men have lost their reason. Bear with me, my heart is in the coffin, there with Caesar, and I must pass till it comes back to me. In the fourth stanza, you know, Mark Antony, remember, this is the speech given by Mark Antony, time and again, I remember you, I remember you. So, Mark Antony says, I am not, you know, disagreeing what Brutus says, but here I am, you know, you know, here I stand in in your presence. You know, I show the dead body of you know Julius Caesar. I am I am trying to you know you know remember you the noble acts that were done by you know the greatest you know king, Roman emperors, one of the greatest you know Roman emperors, you know Julius Caesar. He had done number of welfare activities for the welfare of the you know Roman people. So remember those things, and so remember those. Here you, you must mourn the, the, the Roman people are not you know not at all you know you know you know weeping not mourning no not mourning you must cry you must be you must mourn for the death of the Julius Caesar you must not believe what Brutus says he had a conspiracy very cleverly very intelligently you know he had a conspiracy and with his close friends he killed Julius Caesar you remember this and remember you mourn this is the fact. So today I am here, I am telling what Brutus has done, but Brutus is an honorable man. Brutus, you know there is a Brutus means very cruel. In his name itself there is a pun, figure of speech here. <coughs> you must understand dear students, you know pun one of the figures of speech where you use the words very cleverly to you know, you know to have you know, you know jovial kind or a jovial kind of thing. So in the same way, dear, dear students, here the pun, in the word brutish, there is a, you know, cruel. He is brutus, very brutish, very cruel. Remember this, this is a fact. So you men, so now the Mark Antony questions, oh judgment, he calls, oh judgment. Justice, where is the justice? Where is the, where are you? Judgment, where are you? Look at the justice, you know, laying down. Look at injustice, he's laughing. You know, you know, you know, Brutus is very ambitious, not Julius Caesar. Brutus is very ambitious. Remember this. So, O oh judgment, thou art fled to Brutus bees. So, animals, O oh judgment, your right judgment is on the side of Brutus' side. Dear student, remember, 
injustice injustice remember judgment has gone right judgment is you know on the wrong side so come back come back and men have lost their reason all the you know the people of rome lost their reason they forgot to question they forgot the injustice the injustice done to julius caesar they forgot to question the injustice so remember my heart is in the coffin there with caesar and i must pass till it comes back to me so look at look at the phrases wonderful phrases so mark antony heart is in the coffin coffin means you know a box a long box a very dead body is put so he, his heart is his heart is with with julius caesar so dear students remember these are very powerful words you know very 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 important words this is really one of the you know important speeches of mark antony in this poem so we are very lucky to so this is the you know meaning of this poem dear students you i am sure you have you know understood the poem well <clears throat> dear students so you after going home you try to you know go through the poem and try to write a summary of the poem this is the assignment i am going to give you today so dear students we have very short time we have only one class now we have, i am given only half an hour otherwise you know we would have discussed this poem in detail so dear students as i told you in the very beginning that you will be acquainted with the right pronunciation and you will be acquainted with the you know the theme of the poem and you will be acquainted with the you know understanding of the difficult words i have given you you know uh, you know there is a little difficulty in you know in providing you know some technical support so so dear students i have written some of the words very few words yeah i have prepared ppt also powerpoint present but uh, you know due to some net problem i am not able to present it to you for you so please bear with me but dear students so once you, you dear students you you i know you know mark antony speech i told you the context also i have given you the context in which the poem is you know uh, this poem is written in the play called you know julius caesar the title of the play is julius caesar so from that it is <coughs> it is take it is an extract so you remember that this is a, a very powerful speech by mark antony and uh, all the people of rome come on the side of the mark antony after listening to the facts after you know coming to the know that the conspiracy led by brutus so uh, dear students i am sure uh, you have you know understood the poem very well uh, so you try to write the summary of the poem so thank you i thank the the panel members i thank the you know <clears throat> the you youtube channel uh, panel members uh, for giving me this wonderful opportunity and thank you thank you all and all